You were asked point blank under oath six months after you'd went to the FBI, this question. Line 15, page 189, Eric. I'm going to read it. You make sure, tell me if I read it right. And did you come to believe that the Office of Attorney General was being engaged in ongoing criminal activity in connection with Nate Paul? That was the question, correct? It, which is different than the question you asked me. That's why we're looking at it. I know. That was the question you were asked, true? That is true. Yes, Let's sir, you look read it correctly. At what your answer was. Page 190, line 15. You said... Tell us what you said. If you don't want me to read it, you can read your testimony yourself. Objection. I, I don't believe this is in evidence, Your Honor. I stand to be corrected, and if so, I'll withdraw the concern, but I don't believe it's in evidence. This is uh, House Board of Managers Exhibit 466 that was offered and received by this court. We're looking at page 190, line 15. You said, and I know it called for yes or no, but it's a question that it's hard to give a yes or no. So that makes it difficult for me as, as, as the witness. But I would say it is, it could have led to that. Certainly it's, did I have concerns? I had uh, pardon potential me, I apologize concerns. again, Mr. Busby, excuse me, please. I think this comes under the heading of, it is one of course our exhibits. I don't object to it being introduced but I don't believe it has. It is not one of those that was agreed to by the parties. And if you recall, they wouldn't originally agree to any of our exhibits. And then we reached some agreements we read in this morning. I don't think it's one of them. So if he wants to offer it, I'm not going to object, but I don't believe this document is in evidence. Would you like to offer it? Well, first it's in evidence, but just to satisfy my counsel, my co-counsel or a colleague over there, I'll offer it again. Okay. He did not object. Yeah. It's submitted to evidence. So now let's Thank focus you. on this document that's in evidence. You were asked point blank. And this is six months. I mean, come on. Six months after you left the office. Six months after you went to the FBI. This is, this is after some of, the, some of your colleagues had filed a very public lawsuit, right? Correct. And this is even after that you had been interviewed in the press, Right. I believe one time, yes. Yeah, and all kinds of things were going on in the press about these so-called whistleblowers and, and crimes and all kinds of things. And then here you are placed under oath in March of 2021, and you were asked point blank whether you believed the office of the AG was engaged, had been engaged in ongoing criminal activity in relation to Nate Paul, and you couldn't even give an answer. Could you? With regard to the office of attorney general, correct. You're making some distinction between the office and the AG himself? Yes, sir. Okay. Because you didn't want to say that you had been engaged in criminal activity, right? I don't believe, no. I mean, part of the so-called criminal activity is the MIDI intervention, isn't it? And you were dead in the middle of that, weren't you? I approved the executive mem memorandum. Isn't it ironic that the first witness called in this case for the House on the first article of impeachment that was passed, that this witness, you, approved that intervention. Isn't that ironic? Uh, I, I don't know, sir. Don't you think that really reflect, kind of reflects the whole House's case? That they put you up here as the witness to tell us how bad Ken Paxton was, and on the very first article, you approved it. Isn't that ironic? The, the irony, I guess, is lost on me, sir. Is it? It is. 